Hello and welcome to the channel. I uh, just wanted to uh, show you what I did to attach the uh, Starlink pipe adapter to a uh, telescoping uh, flagpole from Harbor Freight. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of videos out there that have been telling you what comes in the kit, um, so I'm not going to really go over it in, in detail, but there's a bag to cover the dish, your pipe adapter, some clips for holding the wire, an Allen wrench, for the Allen screws and they give you two different sets of Allen screws. Now what I did is I took out this section here of the flagpole. I wanted, I wanted something with a little bit bigger diameter. So if you pull this plastic piece, which is right here, if you pull that up, you can then pull these sections apart. This is uh, this is the device here that when you twist the pole that locks it to keep it from going up and down. Now, because it is is aluminum, um, it's uh, it's soft. So when you start tightening down on this, that's going to start bending in on that aluminum, and then as this thing uh, gets the action from uh, from wind. Um, I think what's going to happen because of metal fatigue, this this aluminum pipe is really uh, it's going to be questionable of whether it's going to if it's going to work or not. So to overcome that, what I did is I bought some uh, piece of galvanized pipe that I can slide into the inside of the aluminum pipe. I uh, cleaned up uh, both the inside of the tele of the mass pipe and the galvanized pipe with some um, denatured alcohol. Then I coated the inside of the a tube with some uh, with some Barilla glue as well as the outside of the tube and then I, I would insert it and as I was inserting it I would keep twisting and twisting and twisting and then pull it back out fill in any areas that uh, had gaps in it and then would put it back in until I get it all the way down in and then once I had it in I installed a uh, a couple of uh, self tapping screws to help hold it and then gave it uh, gave it the recommended 24 hours of curing time for the glue. Now, I don't know if anybody else has experienced it with these flag poles, but I have. Um, after them being up in a while in the wind, these things vibrate and they tend to lose the grip and will slide back down in, in itself. Well, with putting a dish on here, you're gonna have a whole lot more weight, downward force weight, uh, than you do with a flag. So what I've done to overcome that, to keep it from falling back down into itself, is I've put some, sorry about that, I've put some fight, uh, pipe clamps on here, hose clamps. Uh, and then you just snug them up uh, enough to keep it from sliding. You don't want to tighten it so tight that you deform the metal because if you do, um, that's going to cause a problem with you t uh, retracting or extending the, the, the telescope mass pipe. Um, so that's uh, that's what I've done to uh, to get prepared to uh, to mount this thing. So I'm going to get it all mounted up, get it up into place, and then I'll show you uh, show you what it looks like after I've uh, I've gotten it mounted. Um, but in the meantime, if you would please like and subscribe to our channel uh, it uh, it lets us know how we're doing uh, it tells uh, it tells YouTube that uh, you're watching our content and we, we do appreciate it we appreciate you taking the time to view our channel and we uh, we really like to hear the uh, hear the comments uh, with that uh, if you'll hold on a minute and we'll uh, we'll get this thing mounted up and you can see the final product okay we're back as you can see, we've got the, uh, the dish mounted on top of the pole. Just turn the uh, system on, so the, uh, the dish is currently searching for satellites. But <clears throat> here's how we've got, got it affixed to the, uh, to the ladder on the back of the rig. Uh, this is a, uh, an aluminum uh, flagpole mount that uh, I picked up off the line from, I believe it was Amazon. Um, I will, uh, I'll put a link in the description for it. Uh, what you do with, uh, with this one is you take, take the pole and you, you put it in at an angle like this, then tilt it up vertical and then drop it down into this pocket right here. And then you have these two thumb screws that you tighten down and then a couple of lock nuts to make sure that the thumb screws, um, do not come loose. The bracket up there is also adjustable so that it will adjust to accommodate different, different diameter uh, pipe, which uh, the plastic ones, the plastic mounts that they have, 
Um, they're, I think they're pretty much limited to just a couple of small sizes of pipe. But with, uh, with this one, you're able to make the adjustment for, uh, for whatever diameter pipe that you want to use. Uh, eventually what I'll, I'll do is I've got to pick up some uh, Velcro strips. That, there it goes. It's uh, getting ready to, there, it's locking onto the, locking onto the satellites now. So I'll get some Velcro uh, tape, strips, whatever, to uh, wrap around the pole to help hold the, uh, hold the cable in place. So that's our installation for uh, our Starlink on the, uh, on the ladder of our RV. Um, please, again, if you would, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we appreciate it. It helps us, to, again, to know how we're doing, and it lets... Uh, Let's Amazon, uh, Amazon, yeah. Let's the folks at YouTube know that uh, you're watching our content. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, to leave them in the comment section, and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, thank you for stopping by our channel, and have a great day.